Science and technology continue to move us forward into the future, bringing with it better medical equipment and treatment options for patients. Well, science and technology are critically important for improving patient care, of course. Uh, what science and technology allow us to do is to make more accurate diagnoses, to make these diagnoses at an earlier stage, to provide surgical treatments less invasively and more precisely, and all in the benefit of improving patient function. By choosing the right implant, better patient outcomes can be achieved. Well, natural knee motion and kinematics is extremely complicated. So one of the challenges in a knee replacement, making an artificial joint replicate the function and kinematics of that natural knee. Uh, what we have to balance in performing knee replacement surgery is mobility and stability of the knee joint. We want the knee to move freely, to bend fully, and allow a patient to be active, but we also need it to be stable. And many implant designs have produced movement of the joint without an inherent stability to the joint. And therefore, the knee can feel unstable to the patient and they may not feel able to return to their desired activities. Matt Ortho, based in the United Kingdom, decided it was time for a focused innovator to make an impact for the patient's interests. Matt Ortho is a relatively new company. We've been in business uh, since 2011, but 40 years ago, we were, we were running a, a business which has developed into the implant trade that we are today at Matt Ortho. Matt Ortho currently is focused on knee replacement. Uh, that's internal joints to go inside the body, not external prostheses. Hip replacement, ankle replacement, and some finger replacements. That's our main focus currently. Matt Ortho believes in engaging in proper research to fuel its innovation, leading to technologies that can and do achieve better outcomes for patients. Well, I think the principle that Matt Ortho embraces is to really replicate the normal kinematics and function of the natural knee. And that's really been their goal to produce an implant that best replicates your native knee function so that after a knee replacement, it would feel the same. We are reaching a point in time where a lot of the world believes that joint replacement has reached a kind of a stage whereby implants are as good as they can get or they're as good as they need to get. And that comes to some extent from the, from the clinical cost-effectiveness kind of drive whereby the risks of, of moving forward are greater than the, the, than the knowledge we've got already. I think that's a mistake because we're not where we want to be for where patients want to get to for their outcomes. Uh, patients who are going to live for another 40 years need something better than they're getting at the moment. An example of Matt Ortho's joint replacement technologies is its novel concept for more natural knee replacement. Well, SAFE is Matt Ortho's total knee replacement design, and it's different from other traditional knee replacement implants. What Matt Ortho has done with the SAFE is they've used a ball and socket on the medial side, and this provides the ability to pivot medially, giving incredible stability on the medial side, while allowing the lateral side or the outer side to rotate freely. And this gives excellent range of motion and also replicates the natural kinematics of the knee. By investing in clinical research and education with the objective of improving clinical outcomes and, most importantly, the patient's quality of life, the goals of joint replacement technologies can be better achieved. I don't do a lot of physical things because of my back, but as far as the leg is concerned, I can go up and down stairs. Before the operation, I could barely walk at all, maybe down the driveway, maybe a little bit further than that and uh, standing forget it i could not stand at all and so uh, you know it's a night and day difference since i've had the uh, knee replacement through continued investment in new technologies and product development the company remains committed suppliers to the medical community well matt ortho has really dedicated themselves to learning more about knee replacements and how they're working for patients afterwards so they are committed to researching 
how their implants are doing and transmitting that information to surgeons who are putting in the implants on a regular basis to continue to improve the process. Product testing is, is vital. Um, obviously there are elements of stuff which is, is pretty straightforward in terms of if we're using a, a new material, we have to look at all its mechanical properties. More difficult testing is, is what's going to happen over time, which is impossible to do in the laboratory scene. But there is an element whereby that testing has to be done by a very careful rollout of any change to a device, however small it might be, to look very carefully at a small group of patients who are fully aware that they are in that remit of, of, of going through an analysis and follow them very carefully before we then decide this is something we can release into, into a product group. Mad Ortho continues what has become a lifelong passion for orthopedics. Built on the team's success of four decades in the industry, Mad Ortho is set to grow significantly as a result of these unique products directly addressing patients' needs. I would expect that we continue to see innovation in orthopedic implants so that we better replicate patients' activity and function through a longer period of time. With Mad Ortho's knee replacement system, they've already seen improvement in patient satisfaction scores, their range of motion, and the longevity of the implants. For more information, visit www.mattortho.com.